Amen. I want to welcome you to service tonight and um, I believe that God is going to do us great and mighty things tonight. Hallelujah. It's been awesome, you know, this year, you know, since the year started, God has been taking us from glory to glory and um, I want to thank God for the mighty things he has been doing already. Hallelujah. Testimonies are already pouring in and all that. This is the year of expectation and I want you to be expectant because God is going to do mighty things in your life. Everything you believe God for this year shall come to pass. Not one shall be outstanding. Hallelujah. Once again, I want to welcome you. Uh, good to see you tonight. And um, please, I want you to share this link. Invite your families, invite your friends, you know. Amen. And let them join, to, join, join us tonight in fellowship. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Father, I give you praise. Holy Spirit, I adore you. I magnify your holy name. Thank you, Father. I worship you tonight. I glorify your holy name. Thank you for the mighty things you're about to do tonight. I glorify your holy name. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. Without you, I can do nothing. Thank you, Lord. I ask for utterance. Lord, I ask for unction. Thank you, Father. Help us tonight. Speak to us, Lord. Speak to everyone that is watching, Lord. And even those that will watch later on. Father, communicate your word and your heart to every man. Help us this year, Lord. Help us this new year to maximize time, to maximize the new year. Help us, O oh God, straighten out our mindset. Thank you, Father. Lord, I ask for the words. I yield myself to you totally. Thank you, Holy Father. Let your words come with power. Let your words come with simplicity. I give you all the praise. I yield myself totally to you, Lord. Thank you, gracious Father. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining. I want to thank Pastor Chukudum for this privilege, for this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to welcome you again to a new month. Hallelujah. We want to thank God, you know, you know, it's, it's, January just went so fast. <laughs> Amen. So fast. And um, we're already in February. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is how also the things God is going to do in your life this year. Divine speed to be coming so fast. Hallelujah. Doors will be opening so fast. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please come with me to Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. I'm excited today. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Last week, Sunday, please, if you, if you missed it, please go back. It's, it's on our page. It's, it's on the church page, Activate Church. Hallelujah. You see the, the message, the previous message. We dealt on prayer. The power of prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today we are going to look at something else. Hallelujah. I, I was waiting on God. I was asking the Holy Spirit, what do I say? What do I say? Naturally, that's how it works for me. Hallelujah. I always go to God in prayers. Amen. Then in the place of prayer, I stay there. Then he will quicken a word in my spirit, man. He will give. Sometimes it comes like a scripture. Sometimes it comes like a picture. Then with that, I can now go to the word. And then begin to search scriptures, begin to search scriptures. Illumination will come, begin to study, and then, hallelujah. Amen. That's how it was for me. I normally go to God first in prayers to ask him, what do you want me to say? Hallelujah. Amen. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing. Hallelujah. I want to be sure that this is King James. Hallelujah. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Verse 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Mm. 
Hallelujah. So last Sunday we dealt on prayer. The power of prayer in bringing everything God has said into manifestation. So verse 6 says, In everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Look at verse 8. That is my focus today. Verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Hallelujah. So, the same passage where they talked about prayer, after they finished prayer, they started dealing with mindsets. Think on these things. They gave you a syllabus. Things to think on. Hallelujah. Think on these things. Mm. <laughs> the mindset is so powerful. Sometimes the way we think affects what we have finished praying about. You know, you can finish 21 days of prayer and fasting. <laughs> At the end of the year, you still have the same results. At the end of the year, you still fall into the same temptation. At the end of the year, you still experience the same struggles you experienced the previous years. At the end of the year, the same pattern, the same cycle is still running. Cycle of disappointment. Cycle of failure. Cycle of disappointment in marriage, in relationship. The same story continues. But sister, brother, you have finished 21 days of prayer and fasting. There's something I've discovered. <laughs> the devil has a way of leaving all church people, all believers. He leaves us alone in January. He, ah, yeah, January, everybody's on the mountain. Fire, prayer, fasting. He leaves us alone. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when we come down from the mountain, then he comes with the mind game. Did God really say? <laughs> he begins to play with your mind. The battlefield now relocates to the mind. Hey! <laughs> Pastor was talking about it, I think, on Tuesday. The battlefield of the mind. He begins to play with our mind. He begins to sow those thoughts of discouragement. Are you sure this thing you prayed about will come to pass? But this thing you just finished fasting about, look at it, it has gone worse. Situation has gone worse. He begins to play with our mind. Hallelujah. There's something else I've also discovered. You know, this new year, you, you, you believe God, this habit yeah, is going to break. It will not happen again. You even write it as a new year resolution. I must break this habit. You, in the place of prayer in January, you fast, you pray, you believe God, you cry. When you finish 21 days fasting, 30 days fasting, the very following week, <laughs> you fall into the same habit. <laughs> Some people, it is a day after the fasting, they fall into the same habit. the Holy Ghost. I said, what do I talk about? He said, go to Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. He said, tell my people that after prayer, they should undergo a mind therapy. They should undergo a mind renewal program. For that is where the stronghold is. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to... That is where the stronghold is. For, for many of us, we struggle in finance. 2005, somebody helped you. He borrowed you money. You started business. <laughs> Six months after the business finished, it closed down. You cried unto the Lord. You prayed again. January fasting. 2006, you prayed and God opened another door. Breakthrough. Money just came from somewhere. <laughs> you started another business. Six months after, it closed down. My brother and sister is not the devil. Hallelujah. See, I've not really seen anybody that the devil came physically and held you and bound you down. He said, this 2023, it is me and you today. You're not, you're not going anywhere. Physically, devil in your house presses you. 
and holds you in your house, you can't even come out. <laughs> he does not allow you to go to work. He does not allow you to go to church. He presses you, he says, this 2023, you are not progressing. There's nobody that devil does that. <laughs> Hallelujah. He doesn't do that. Amen. The devil comes here. He comes here. He comes here. This is where the algorithm is. This is where the coding language is. The programming. He comes here to the battlefield of the mind. This is where he comes to do the programming. This is where he does it. Hallelujah. Please, let, let me read another scripture. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. My heart is full today. My heart is full. Because God passed me through this process. Hey. <laughs> Some of the things we struggled with. God God said, Elijah, you are a man of prayer. <laughs> you have prayed enough. <laughs> but there's something you are missing. Mind therapy. There's an algorithm that is running that needs to break. If you don't break it, it will keep producing the same results. And every year will be like the previous year. Hallelujah. He said to me, until you become a new person on the inside, you cannot have a new year. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, unto him that is able to do, exceeding abundantly, above all that we ask, prayer or think mindset above all that we ask or think where they dealt with prayer they also dealt with mindset hmm. it is everywhere in the scriptures Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 he talked about prayer be anxious for nothing be careful but in everything by prayer then 18 verse 8 they say finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are good think on these things Anyway, they talk about prayer, the next thing they deal with is mindset. Mindset. This is where the problem is. You can come out of Egypt, but Egypt has not come out of you. You can leave Pharaoh, but Pharaoh becomes a mental Pharaoh in the mind. Pharaoh can die under the sea, but Pharaoh still lives here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Ask and then thinking. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs 23, verse 7, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Let me add another one. <laughs> Let me add a little to that. Please permit me to add. Because the Holy Ghost gave me that. It, 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 it became like digital deliverance to me. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And then the Holy Ghost added to me. He said, as he continues to think, so he remains. As he continues to think, as she continues to think, so she remains. The limit is here. The limit is here. The limitation is here. It has to break. It has to break. <laughs> hey, the battlefield of the mind. The battlefield of the mind. Hallelujah. Follow me to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 3. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the problem we have, it, it, it looks as if this one is the harder part. So we prefer prayer. Prayer is shortcut. Oh, man of God, pray for me. Oh, let's go for night vigil. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. So we, we, we prefer that one. Hallelujah. There's something I've discovered. A man of God can lay hands on your head. But he cannot lay hands on your mind. <laughs> he cannot lay hands on your heart. The Bible said, God your heart with all vigilance for out of it are the issues of life out of it out of it out of it this is
is where prosperity comes out from. This is where poverty comes out from. This is where failure comes out from. This is where success comes out from. Out of it, guard your hearts. A man of God can only lay hands on your head. That is how far he can go. He cannot lay hands on your mind. Hallelujah. When it comes to the mind, it's the word of God that does the deliverance. It's the word of God that does the deliverance. It's the word of God. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12 verse 2. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That algorithm must break. And let's do a new programming. Hallelujah. Every year is the same story. Every year is the same story. After two months, the young man runs away. After four months, the young man runs away. It's not as if spouses, it's not as if suitors are not coming. They are coming. They are coming. But something is driving them away. Hallelujah. And you have gone everywhere for prayers. You have gone year in, year out. You don't miss prayer anywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister, please sit down. Can you sit with the word? Can you sit on the word? In his Lord that he meditates day and night. Day and night. In his law that he meditates day and night. Psalm 1 verse 2. Then the Bible said, he shall be. She shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. Then whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Whatsoever she doeth shall prosper. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, let's come back here. <laughs> There's fire on my head. Let's come back here. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. This is battle. No? This is warfare. <laughs> verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Pulling down of strongholds. Where are the strongholds? Is it the one in my village? Is it the stronghold in my father's house? Which stronghold is he talking about? Pulling down stronghold. Because sometimes the devil has a way of deceiving us. He focuses on our mind on our village. Focuses your mind on your father's house. Focuses your mind on your mother-in-law. Those are the strongholds. <laughs> See where the stronghold is. The next verse. Casting down imaginations. Imaginations. What are imaginations? Pictures. From the word image, they have imagination. Images. Images. This is where they are. Images. Idols. Casting down imagination. Pictures. Images. Pictures. You keep falling into the same scene again and again. There are pictures here that must go down. The way you remove pictures from your wall and you throw it away. You remove pictures from this wall and throw it away. Hallelujah. Imaginations, pictures. If not, 2023 will be like other years. Casting down imaginations, images, pictures. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity. Hallelujah. So there are things you must bring into captivity. We are here. You bring them into captivity. Every thought, thought of failure, thought of disappointments, you bring it into captivity. That something happened in your life two times, three times, hey, 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 does not mean that is how it should be. Because sometimes we, we, we accept an event, it becomes a mindset we now believe. Oh, man of God, you don't understand. It, it has always been like that in my life. It's a normal thing. It's a normal thing. <laughs> There's a story in the Bible I love. The man at the pool of Bethesda. 38 years in bondage. 38 years lying down in one place. 38 years in infirmity. The man was one place. Ah, 38 years. Then Jesus came. Simple question. Will thou be made whole? Immediately the thing came out of his heart. Yes. <laughs> you know the Bible said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Immediately it came out. There is no man. I have no man. That thing has become a stronghold in him. I have no man. For many of us, that is our problem. I have no anything God shows you, mighty things He shows you that will happen in your year. The next thing, I have no man. How shall it come to pass? I have no man. <laughs> it has become a stronghold. 
Hallelujah. One of my uncles, he's late now. <laughs> One of my uncles. Anytime you go to visit him, you ask him, ah, ah, Uncle, how are you? Uncle, how is everything? Uncle, how is life? Well, we are looking at the government. <laughs> Every time it comes out of his mouth, he's always looking at the government. And he has been looking at the government till he died for many years. Nothing is moving in his life. No progress. He's always looking at the government. Well, we are looking at the government. Things have not improved. The government has to change. The government has, the government is, the, every, everything, he tied his life to the government. <laughs> and government does not get better. Government gets worse every year. Have you not noticed? <laughs> government gets worse every year. <laughs> we are looking at the government. Will thou be made whole? Immediately came out of his heart. I have no man. I have no man to take me to the pool. While I am coming, somebody overtakes me. Anytime I am coming, somebody... I don't want to believe that that thing happened for 38 years. Maybe it happened just three times. The man resigned. No need. Anytime, no need for me to go. Because anytime I go, somebody overtakes me. So, so let me just stay here. It became a stronghold. It became a mindset. Hallelujah. Do you know there's something called mental paralysis? Your paralysis can leave physical and enter your mind. And you become crippled mentally. You become crippled mentally. That is the worst form of paralysis. Hallelujah. Casting down imaginations. Pastor, I am struggling with this habit. And I am believing God that this new year, it will not happen again. Hey, brethren, casting down imagination this is the warfare this is the battle after you have finished prayers enter word enter word sit on the word therapy enter the word hey gabani mo le komayene kezekete the bible said the light shineth in darkness darkness cannot comprehend where does the light come from the entrance of thy word giveth light the entrance of thy word giveth light. The entrance of thy word giveth light. Until it enters, it does not break. The entrance of thy word giveth light. Then the light shineth in darkness. Darkness cannot comprehend. Darkness cannot comprehend. Hallelujah. I believe God that this year, you will be free from every stronghold of the mind. Every limit of the mind. The limitations of the mind, it has to break. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Bringing into captivity. There are thoughts you must bring into captivity. You hold it captive. Hallelujah. You hold it captive. Bringing into captivity. Thoughts of failure. Thoughts of disappointments. Bringing into captivity. That immoral thought. Immoral thought. You bring it into captivity. Bringing into captivity. To obedience to Christ. He has to obey Christ. If those thoughts don't obey Christ, hey, it's a matter of time. Your hand will not obey. Your leg will move in that direction. <laughs> your leg will not obey Christ. It starts from within, then without. From within, then without. From within, then without. The thought has to obey Christ before the leg can obey Christ. Before the hand can obey Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bringing into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I, I, I let me repeat that scripture. I read it. Psalms chapter one, verse one. Maybe we'll close with that. Hallelujah. There are so many things to look at here. Psalms chapter one, verse one. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Psalms chapter one, verse one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Hallelujah. He does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. He does not stand in the way of sinners. He does not sit in the seat of the scornful. But that is not enough. Brothers and sisters, that is not enough. He avoids bad people, but that is not enough. He does not walk with evil men, but that is not enough. He lives a holy life. He lives an isolated life. He, he, he's separated, but that is not enough. Verse 2, his mind must undergo a transformation. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law 
doth he meditate day and night, 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 day and night. Consistency. That is how that thing breaks. That is how that coding language breaks. That is how that algorithm breaks. Day and night. He sits on it. He sits on it. He sits on prosperity scriptures. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night. How long are people going to keep borrowing you money? No, 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 no. You don't need that this year. Hallelujah. The last one they borrowed you, you squandered it. How long are they going to keep lending you money? Hallelujah. In his law, he meditates day and night. Day and night. The pastor, every year I struggle with this sickness. Every year I struggle with this year. I want it to break this year. Hey, you gather healing scriptures. You sit on it day and night. Day and night. Day and night. It will break. The stronghold here will break. It will break. It will break. Hallelujah. Day and night. That is the therapy. Oh, that is the prescription. Day and night. You take one in the day, you take one in the night. You take one in the day, you take one in the night. You take it like medicine. The Bible said the word is medicine to all their flesh. It is life to those that find it. And medicine to all their flesh. Day and night. Day and night. Let me see the devil that will stop you. Look at the next verse. And he shall be. And he shall be. Nothing can stop this man. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Oh, hallelujah. Fruitfulness, multiplication, success, promotion. This is how it comes about. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the same thing he told Joshua. You shall make thy way prosperous. And you shall have good success. Hallelujah. What are you expecting this year? Oh, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth. You shall meditate upon it day and night. Then you shall make thy way prosperous. And then you shall have good success. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Hallelujah. When you finish prayer, hey, just know that the devil is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. The devil is waiting for you. He's coming with the, He's relocating the battle to this place. Be ready for him. <laughs> Be ready for him. He waited for Jesus 40 days. He didn't He did not inter, He does not. Devil does not interrupt fasting. No, he does not. He wait for you to finish. He waited for Jesus 40 days. When Jesus finished, then he came. If you are the son of He started playing with his mind. If you are the son of God, turn this stone. Ay, 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 ay. Jesus said, it is written. <laughs> Jesus was prepared for him. Hallelujah. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. It's not enough to be a prayer giant. Balance it by becoming a word giant. Oh, the apostle said, we shall give ourselves to prayer and to the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, we give you praise. This new month, Lord, I pray for your people and I decree blessings upon them, Lord. Thank you, Father. Help us by your grace. Help us to begin to stay on the word. Help us to renew our mind, oh God. Help us to break some of these strongholds, Lord. Help us to break them. Help us to cast down these imaginations in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, we give you praise. Oh, we know that everything you have promised us shall come to pass. Not one shall be hanging. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Be thou exalted. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, amen, 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 amen. I'm so excited tonight. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This is a good time to give to God. You want to give to God? Hallelujah. The account number is on the screen. And God will bless you mightily. In Jesus' name. Join us next Sunday for an explosive encounter in God's presence. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Hallelujah. Amen.
Thank you.